Okay, next we're going to test the latissimus dorsi muscle. And we do this similar to the pectoralis major. Both arms over your head, please. So this is an arm elevation test. And what we can do is slowly lower the arms down. This one is actually four pecs, but then if the elbows were to deviate out, then that would indicate a tight latissimus. Like, let's say, for instance, if I slowly lowered my patient's arms down, you can see she just naturally just wants to deviate out. And you can see that the arm is at, well, around 45 degrees, give or take. If the latissimus was normal, then the arm would lower down without any deviation. If I was to slowly strain the elbow and we have a pull coming out, you can see that the arm wants to drift outwards, then that's probably indicative of a tight latissimus dorsi. Be careful when you're looking at lats, because you, what you might find is the lat on the right is tight, but the lat on the left is normal. And this latissimus might indicate a inhibited gluteus maximus on the op opposite side, because it connects via the posterior oblique sling. Um, so just bear that in mind when we are trying to treat this. So let's say, for instance, if you want to treat this side, if your patient can have a lie on your side, please, on your left side. <clears throat> and then we can place the pillow underneath the head. When we do this, the arm comes over. Be careful. Any shoulder impingements, the patient won't like it. Any a AC joint pathology, they won't like it. So you might have to vary the position of the arm. Now from here, what we're going to do is we are going to interlock the hand under and over the arm here. And then from this position, I'm going to slowly bring the arm down. And then I can place my hand onto the lower back. But before we do that, the elbow, we ask the patient to pull towards the lower back, please. So she is using the latissimus also. The short stumpy muscle here will be teres major. And the latissimus will cross to the opposite gluteus maximus. After 10 seconds, relax, take a breath in. And then as we lower, we stabilize the back and then we bring the arm over the head. We can also change the position. What that means is we can place the hand onto the rib attachment we can actually bring the arm up onto the attachment onto the scapula. Let's repeat again, elbow towards your lower back, please. So the patient is adducting. 10 seconds, around 20% effort. After the 10 seconds, the patient takes a breath in. And then on the out breath, I can slowly change position of my arm and I can lock and then lower and hold for a few seconds. For the third time, we would hold for 25 seconds. If there's pain in the top of the shoulder, we can slowly bring the arm more forward, or we can actually bring the arm more back, depending. Forward is normally more comfortable, and then you might find we can still lengthen the latissimus that way.